It's an illness which had no survival rate until now. A Washington state congresswoman and her husband say their baby has beaten the odds and survived a fatal disease known as Potter's syndrome. Potter's syndrome is an illness which causes poor amniotic fluid transfer. That hinders kidney function as well as lung development. Republican Congresswoman Jamie Herrera Butler, who represents the Vancouver area in Washington state, gave birth to two pound, 12 ounce Abigail Rose Butler July 15th after just 28 weeks of pregnancy. But when she was just five months pregnant, Butler's doctor told her the baby wouldn't be able to live. At that time, there were no recorded cases of babies surviving Potter's syndrome. The New York Daily News reports Butler wouldn't give up despite any bad news. The staunchly pro-life lawmaker learned of the devastating diagnosis in the second trimester, but was adamant that she would continue with the pregnancy. Butler and her husband appeared on the Today Show Friday and reflected on the grim prognosis given to her during pregnancy. So your baby has no options. It's incompatible with life. It's terminal. And at that moment, she was moving. I mean... She was, she was moving in me, and he's telling me she's not going to live. But how were doctors able to save Abigail with the odds against them? After a desperate search for a solution, the butlers found a doctor at Johns Hopkins Hospital who tried an unproven treatment. Over the last few weeks of her pregnancy, Butler was injected with saline solution in hopes of being able to replace the lack of amniotic fluid. The treatment appears to have helped in the miracle birth. Most babies with Potter's syndrome are delivered as stillborns because their lungs don't work outside the womb, but Abigail's did. Abigail is still receiving treatment at a California hospital, but her mother will briefly return to work to vote on President Obama's plan to intervene in Syria. Butler hasn't announced how she plans to vote. Doctors say Abigail will need to get a kidney transplant in the next year, but expect she will live a full life. It's not clear when she'll be able to go home from the hospital. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.